Okay, folks, um, this is an update on my um, thermocell video on how to f refill the cartridges. Today, I'm going to show you how to make cheap uh, pads and reuse old pads. So here's some old pads. All of the insecticide is burnt out of them and they're totally white. So what I plan to do is have two Ziploc bags, one which says used and one which says refilled. And as I use them, just transfer them from the refilled bag to the used bag. Now let me show you how I'm gonna refill these pads. So this is kind of what I mean, used pads and refilled pads. So that way you can determine which is which because the color won't be any different for the used or the refilled. And this is how I plan to refill them using permethrin. This is very concentrated. It's like a 48% solution permethrin, which is in the same family as allethrin, which is used in the regular pads that come shipped with these, uh, with these thermocells. And it's dissolved in, in a hydrocarbon type of material. So it's kind of like petroleum spirits that it's dissolved in. And these are volatile. So to regenerate your pads, let me show you what you need to do. Just basically put five drops on each pad and let it dry for a few seconds. And it will dry very quickly in this kind of hot weather. So the actual container has a convenient little side bottle on the top. So you can take the uh, lid off, draw up some of the permethrin, and drip about five drops onto each pad. You could put five or six, it doesn't matter. Like that. You don't want to put too much because what it'll do is it'll gum up your uh, thermocell. So it dries off pretty fast, as you can see here. You know, it kind of soaks into the, into the spent uh, pad and spreads out like that. Now, I'm gonna fill another cartridge. I'm gonna do this the same way I described in my earlier video on this. So this is a completely empty cartridge and I just have it sitting in ice because the refill can is hot. And if the cartridge is hot, it's gonna be hard to transfer the, uh, the butane. So I just put it in some ice water like that. And then we'll fill it up. And it should feel much quicker since the temperature is lower than the refill can. You check my other video, my previous video, to see how this is done. There it goes, it's filling really quickly. Then I'm gonna open these up and get them working. I'm already getting bitten by mosquitoes because it's a crazy, crazy hot and humid night. And uh, I'm gonna get this open and I'll get right back to you. These are opened and I'm gonna put my refill to cartridge in. Oh, just my glove is torn here. Screw it right in like that. Get it good and tight. Now we'll take one of our treated pads right here. I'm gonna push it right in there. Let's open up the butane. That's the butane. There it goes. So we're gonna use this permethrin pad here. And I'm gonna get the other one going as well. Okay, here's another one I just filled up. We'll put it in this second one here. We'll turn on the gas. So now we have two of them running. And these use homemade pads, which will get used and then refilled. And these units came with some refill pads, and I plan to keep all of these and just refill them with the uh, permethrin. I'm going to test how well this works because right now I've got mosquitoes buzzing around my ears 
and uh, I can already see it heating up and it looks like it's changing color a bit. Let's see what that one's doing. It's working well. It's been about 10 minutes. I have two of them running and they're still going well with the refilled cartridges. And all of the mosquitoes that were currently just crazily feeding on me have now disappeared. And this area, this entire area is completely clear. Yeah, so I, have, I do have a bunch of the original pad here, but from now on, I'm just gonna use this. This stuff will last just about forever because I have 16 fluid ounces of, or basically a pint of it here. And it's almost 40%. It says maximum 42%. And permethrin and allethrin are both from the same family of chemicals. So I just bought, uh, brought both of these into the house because this whole sunroom area is contaminated with mosquitoes and it's already taken care of the ones here. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, please don't forget to uh, check down in the comment section. And if you like this video, or want to see similar videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I really look forward to your suggestions. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, please check back.